back to my channel. I am doing something today that makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, it's something I've never done before. I am doing a luxury handbag unboxing. This is something I personally like watching, but in terms of like my realm of content, it's not really my thing. Even often, like when I take photos on Instagram, if I have a handbag on that is a designer, I sometimes will not wear it. I don't really want to make my page or my channel about designer things or you know material items for me it's really about spreading health and wellness and trying to leave people better off than when they found me however it is an extension of me and i do love a beautiful handbag and i do love shoes and all that stuff um and i think a lot of people do so I'm sort of in this like in-between place where I'm like, I do want to share these things. I know that a lot of my followers like that. I want to see it. But on the other hand, it makes me kind of second guess myself and be like, do I really want to show this stuff? I feel like it's not socially responsible. But I decided I'm going to film this video because I want to and we'll see how it gets received because I've never done it before. So um, I love a designer handbag doesn't define me but I love it you know and I work really hard and on the occasion that I can spoil myself and buy something for myself it means so much more to me than just having this beautiful handbag it really is a symbol that you know I've worked hard and I'm able to buy these things for myself I don't need to ask anyone for it I don't go into debt over it it's really something I'm able to purchase and that feels really really nice so um, without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. I've never filmed a video like this, so hopefully I'm gonna do this well, and please feel free to leave comments down below telling me how bad I'm doing or how good I'm doing or how I can do it better because I'm new to this. So, you know, we all gotta learn. I wasn't planning on buying a bag. It wasn't on my list. Sometimes you see a bag where you're like, mmm, I need that and that's kind of what happened. So long story short is I am a huge fan of Chanel. I mean, it's classic, it's an investment. I bought a pair of these pool slide sandals that I love and I was wearing them for the second time and they legitimately broke while I was wearing them. I've worn these sandals twice. They're Chanel, they're disgustingly expensive and I guess this is normal. Mm -hmm. I can't take them off right now, but these are going back i went to chanel to be like hi my sandal broke this really isn't normal they were like well we don't do refunds but we'll give you a credit note so i was like okay no problem obviously out of the corner of my eye i see this stunning bag and i'm like oh no so i obviously try it on and i'm like oh my god this is stunning and then i'm like get this away from me i don't want to purchase this i should not be buying this I to leave the store message my sister, message my friends, speak to my husband, and really just talk about it for the next like 24 hours. And then I was like, I'll sleep on it if I wake up and it's like the first thing I think of, then, you know, it's meant to be. So I went back and I picked it up and now I'm gonna show you because it is so gorgeous. There are certain brands that are really worth splurging on, uh, Chanel being one of them. Chanel does not go down in value. It only goes up in value. If one day I ever needed the money, I could take this bag and sell it um, and not probably lose a dollar because Chanel goes up in value every single year. There are certain bags that really don't hold their value. Um, for example, I love Dior, but it doesn't hold its value. Before I was doing YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff, um, I used to do designer consignment resale and I know how things hold their value and Chanel is one of those brands that you don't lose money on it because it always goes up in value even if it's used you will always make your money back and really the whole experience when you buy a Chanel bag is so nice because they wrap it up in front of you they do the ribbon a certain way they put the flower on it's a really nice experience guys I'm new at this Open it up, more tissue, and then we have a white sleeper bag that has room for the strap and then the bag inside. This is the classic medium flat bag, limited edition. I think this is like a cobalt blue. Like, can we talk about this? It is gorgeous. It's in lambskin leather, which scares me a little bit only because 
It is a little bit more delicate and sensitive than like a caviar leather, but I saw this color and I fell in love. They have a thing for blue bags and it's just stunning. The hardware is in a shiny silver. It's from the 2019 pre-fall collection and I'm just obsessed. So we open it up here. And then inside it has the felt to protect it. it. Has this flap inside that has a zipper that's like really useless to be honest. Like I don't know what you're gonna fit in there. You can also put stuff behind in here. And then inside the bag it has the embossed CC logo. And then it has a little front pouch. So like I guess you could put like your cell phone in here, your keys. And then inside the actual bag it has um, the opening. And then there's like two little pockets in the back so i'm gonna just try it on for you so really like the way you would wear it probably is just sort of like this um the strap is not long enough to go i mean i could wear it crossbody if i wanted to but it's a little bit short i think that the way i would wear it is really just this way on my arm i think it's the perfect size I find that the jumbo Chanel flat bag is a little bit too big for me. I actually generally will go for the small. I really like the size of the small one. Um, I also love that Chanel bag's little pocket in the back. I very often will just like shove my phone back there, even though it doesn't really fit because my phone's huge. I just find it like easy for someone like me who likes phone is always on them. So I'll just keep it like that. And I don't really know what else to say about it. It's just so beautiful and it really excites me. I'm gonna be really careful with it. When you see um, a special color like this, you just gotta make the move because these colors are really like limited and they don't always come in. And so you kinda gotta get lucky in the moment. I really do wanna reemphasize that spending money on materialistic items really doesn't actually bring anyone happiness, but it is a nice uh, thing to have. And like I said, for me, if I'm going to spend money on a handbag or on a purchase, I would like it to be on investment pieces and things that go up in value and that hold their value. And so this is my latest baby. You'll probably see it here and there on Instagram. Um, it was really fun to do this unboxing. It's like a quick little video. I hope you guys like it. If you like seeing videos like this, leave a comment down below. Thumbs up. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next week.